the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's King's Legacy video, again I've read your comments. Here we are. We have the gas fruit. As I will be eating it fast because check my background. Everyone's fighting. I don't know why. I don't want to lose the gas fruit. Here we are. As usual, it's terrible. I think we're gonna go in a different server to grind faster. Okay. Okay. So here we are with the snake. So to start it off, we are going to do the quest. Gamer Nom, how many times do we need to do the quest? I think four times. Level 5, level 7, level 9, and level 11. Okay, we're gonna do that four times. Why level 11, Gamer Nom? So that we can start the Clown Pirate quest. Okay? Okay, so... Again, for those asking or commenting that you should do the chicken quest for like... Uh, how many times 20 times or 30 times just to reach level 20 because that's faster guys that's impossible i don't believe that you're gonna do this four times for you to proceed to the next quest okay only four times okay so now we've reached level 11 make sure to put all your stats in the power fruit and after that you may proceed to the clown quest giver there you go so guys, we're gonna use our first skill, our Z skill, the Fiery Cut. Guys, I want you to notice that whenever I use the Fiery Cut, our character slashes three times, okay? Three times, which means you can only damage three mobs at a time. So check this out. I'm gonna show you here. I've lured four. Okay, so we're gonna use the Fiery Cut. One, two, three. See that? There's always one left. But don't worry, the cooldown of this skill is so fast. And the damage the damage is so high guys so when you reach level 20 you can now proceed to your next mob which is smoky guys check my stats i've allotted four on defense to increase my hp because the moment that you use your z skill there's a chance that you cannot burst your enemy so they will be inflicting damage on you see that we were able to survive but with just one skill we were able to defeat smoky now you can see how strong our skill is so at level 30 you can now start defeating Tashi and you can defeat him with, by using one skill when you reach level 32 there you go 32 okay check this out Z skill boom 32 one hit Tashi but guys I forgot to show you at 100 power fruit you can unlock the fly for me it's kind of slow and when you are in fly mode your fiery cut damage is weaker check that out we cannot one hit our enemy and when we reach 150 power fruit, we can now unlock our X skill, the gas tail. Go. Our very first long range skill. There you go. The damage not that high, so high we won't be using it. And when you reach level 50, we can now proceed to our next island. Here we are, the pirate island. So first we're gonna deal with the pirate clowns again. Clown pirates, you need to defeat five. This part will be so fast, check it out, gas tail, endure them, and use your Z skill, the fiery cut. Guys, this is the time that you can uh, like practice your skills, so it depends to you on what combination you're gonna use as long as you reach level 75. And at 75, you can now start defeating the clown. This mob will really make your leveling up faster, you can defeat it while flying, you can defeat it while in land, so guys, it really depends to you. Next up guys, when you reach level 100, you can go to the other island, right? And start defeating the other mobs. But you can stay here until you reach level 120. It really depends to you guys, okay? Let me show it to you. Okay, so at level 100, you can now proceed to your next island, the Soldier Island, right? For our first quest, we need to defeat the commander, 6 commanders. So I'm gonna defeat 6 commanders. Fiery Cut, Gastel. Don't worry, the cooldown is fast. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, and then fire fiery cat. There you go. Wait for gas tail. See that, guys? It's kind of slow, right? And you need to defeat six. Whoa! That guy tried to attack me. Kind of mistake, bro. I'm gonna defend myself, okay? There you go. So, guys, it really depends to you. I think this is slow, but the experience is higher. The other one is faster, but... 
the experience is lower. So guys, you decide on that. So for me, I decided to train here in the Soldier Island. Because I like to do combinations with my skills. So when you reach level 20, you can start defeating the captain. You can defeat this with what just, I think, 3 skills? Or a burst of skills? As long as you put your stats in the power foot. Okay. So guys, so when you reach level 128, we can now unlock the third skill, the detonate. But guys, check my defense. I've allotted 4 at 12 stat points on my defense so that is the detonate another long range skill the damage of the skill is also high and when you're in fly mode the damage is higher okay check that out guys okay so here we go when you reach level 145 you can now start defeating the axe hand okay there you go easy right okay you're gonna do this until you reach level 190 what gamer now you can start your other quest at 180 right Yes, I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so when you reach level 190, you can now proceed to the next island, the Shark Island, right? So here, we have a quest. Defeat 5 Fishman. Guys, you can use your C skill, Detonate, to defeat 2. Okay. Even if they are far apart. See that, guys? 1 skill. Okay. Why 190? Because the damage at this level is enough to burst those 2 mobs. Okay. Boom. See that, guys? One hit. Okay, so you're gonna do this until you reach level 200. And unlock our last skill, which is the Gas Zone. So, Gamer Gnome, do you like this skill? Actually, no. To be honest, but it really looks cool. See that? As long as you're within the circular range of the gas, you will get damage. Okay, next up, level 120. You cannot defeat the Karate Fishman. Guys, one combo. Boom. Easy. Easy, guys. Okay, so you're gonna do this until you reach level 230. Okay? And after that, you can now start defeating the Sharkman. Guys, check this out. Two times speed. We will be leveling up five times. Check that out, guys. It's so fast. The spawn point of the enemy is fast. Your cooldown is faster. From level 230, we've reached level 235 in just 34 seconds. See that, guys? It's so fast here. And guys, we're gonna level up here until we reach level 350. Why Gamer Nom? At level 350, we can now unlock all the quests in the Chef ship. We're gonna focus on two quests. We're gonna defeat the Weapon Man. Check this out at level 350. Okay, so after defeating the Weapon Man, since the spawn of the Weapon Man is not that fast, we will go to the next quest, which is the Dark Leg. We're gonna defeat this, and after that, go to the Weapon Man, and after that, go to the Dark Leg. Okay, easy guys. So we're gonna do this until you reach level 450. And after that, we're gonna proceed to our next island, which is the Snow Island. There you go. So we're gonna start with the King of Snow again. The dami our damage now is so high, so we can add some on the defense. So after that, proceed to the Snow Soldiers. Again guys, check it out, we're making it faster. While waiting for the spawn of the mob, we're gonna focus on other mobs. Here, we're gonna use the Gas Zone. Enjoy that skill here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this until we reach level 500. And now, move to the next mob, the Heavy Man. So guys, again, here you need to decide whether you want to defeat the Heavy Man and the King of Snow simultaneously. It really depends on you guys. Or you would just want to focus on the Heavy Man and rest. You can do that. But you're gonna train here until you reach level 625. And after reaching 625, you can go to Sky Island. And I know that your money is enough to buy the Observation Hockey. And proceed to the Desert Island. So you're gonna start here by defeating the Bomb Man. Again guys, easy. You just get damage there. And proceed to the Candle Man. Okay, at 525, there go, defeat it, boom, now go back to the bomb man, and you're gonna do this until you reach level 725, guys. Easy, yes, easy. And at 725, you can now start defeating the king of sand. Gamer Nob, this will be hard, no. You cannot use your X skill, but you can use your C skill detonate, see that? Enemy was hit, another C skill, boom. Guys, you can defeat this by using Kree. 
by four detonates. But when you've already damaged it twice, you can use your X skill. Go near to burst it, and after that, go to the bomb ban and go back to the King of Sand. Easy, right? You're gonna defeat this until you reach level 800 and move to Sky Island. We're more than halfway there, guys. First, Sky Soldiers use your gas zone. There you go, just chill or burst them with your fiery cut. You can do this until you reach level 850. And after that, proceed to the upper yard. There you go, and start defeating the ball man. Again, this is an easy kill. There you go. Okay, you're just gonna do this until you reach level 900. Okay, so at 900, you can start defeating the Rumble Man. Human is there an easy way? Oh, just like the King of Sand, guys. Use your detonate to damage it. There you go, detonate. And after two detonates, use your C skill. Boom. See that? Burst. Okay? So you can also defeat the Ball Man while the Rumble Man hasn't spawned yet. You're gonna do this until you reach level 1050. 1051 is fine. And proceed to the Bubble Island. In this island, you will start by defeating the soldiers just 50 times, guys. 50 times. So I chose the Rumble Man and the Ball Man instead of starting here at 1000 because I think that's faster. That's easy. Just burst one, wait for it to spawn, and use your gas zone. And next up, the leader at 1100. There you go. Easy, guys. You can burst him. And if you want to make it faster, after that, go. To the soldiers defeat them and go to the leader okay okay so after that we will be proceeding so our next mob the pacifista or the pacista in this game so at 1150 is it hard gamer no guys our damage here is so high now we're gonna take advantage of the fast spawn of the pacista so we're gonna level up here until we reach level 1325 and after that, we will proceed to our next island, the Lobby Island. When you reach this level, you can now unlock two quests, the Giraffe and the Wolf. So first, defeat the Giraffe. There you go. And after that, you can defeat the Wolf. Okay. You will do this fast until you reach level 400, guys. This will be fast because we are doing two quests. And after that, we are gonna proceed to our last mob quest. There you go. At 1,400, you can defeat Leo. After that, go to the giraffe. And after that, go back to Leo. Do that until you reach level 1,500. And we're good to go to the second C. So how to do the quest? Proceed to our island. Talk to this guy. There you go, the traveler. He will ask you to defeat a specific fishman. So proceed to fish land. And defeat the seasoned fishman until you get what gamer now? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay. By the way, guys, you're gonna use your detonate here to defeat it by a long range. There you go, until you get the map. I'm the map, I'm the map. According to the map. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Erase that. Okay, so here we are, we have the map. So after that, just proceed, go back to the traveler. There you go, and he will ask you to proceed to the starting island. Go. He will even thank you and good luck. There you go. Give you a good luck. Good luck to those who want to try this fruit. This fruit is really good. Talk to the elite pirate and you will reach the second C. So there you go guys. Requests. Comment it on the comment section. If you want me to play a specific game, just comment it on the comment section and we're gonna try it, okay? So again, thanks to all the supporters, this weekend, face reveal plus our silver play button has already arrived. So I'm gonna show it to you with my brother Aeroses. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.